Alright guys, so here we are on day 10 with Skeleton Horde Part 2. This time, obviously, as you can see, this is a time lapse. And there's a timer going in the background just so you can see how long it took me to paint these five guys. So, I started off with Grey Knight Steel and applied that to all the metallic stuff on these guys. As you can see, they got painted a little bit uh, beforehand, uh, years ago, but I'm painting over all that, so um, I'm just painting over all the silver with Grey Knight Steel. Then, moving on from there, I'm using wild wood to do all the wood. Uh, this is the weapon handles, the back of the shields, and I think that's it. Maybe the, uh, the weapon handle that's stuck in the guy's head also. Then I'm going and doing all the bone and screaming skull. Again, this was painted years ago, but uh, I'm going back over it to make it much more vibrant than the color I originally painted on. All right, now we're going on to Talisar Blue, painting basically anything that looks like cloth that's below his waist. I'm painting uh, in this Talisar Blue. Um, this army is a Legion of Night army, and I figured just to make things easiest, I would just go straight color wheel, make one half blue, one half orange, and call it a day. So now we're moving on to Griffhound Orange, and basically any cloth that is above the waist is getting that color on it. So like I said, just straight contrasting colors on the color wheel make them visually pop without uh, much effort from me. Now I'm doing all the leather, uh, which is basically everything on them that doesn't have color on them at this point, uh, in gore grunt of fur. This is boots, straps, scabbards, shield handles, all that kind of stuff. Now onto Skeleton Horde, and I'm just painting all the bones over with this, just to fill in the recesses and give them some depth. Now coming back with Nuln Oil and doing that all over the metallic parts of these guys. Um, not being super careful if a little bit gets on something else and no big deal, they'll just look a little more shadowed. Then just a quick touch of Tesseract Glow for the eyes. Then highlighting the orange with Fire Dragon Bright. And then highlighting the blue with Baharoth Blue. Now I'm doing a very, very simple freehand on the shields, just diagonal line, and I'm doing that in Flesh Terror's red, just so the shields aren't a mass of silver. Now I'm just doing a quick base in Sigor Brown. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to base the whole army yet, so I'm just doing everything brown, and then I'll figure it out at the end. Just a couple things left now. Taking some Pallid Witch Flesh and highlighting the silver half of the shield. And then some Troll Slayer Orange and highlighting the red half of the shield. And that'll do it for these guys. Um, as you can see, it took me just over 38 minutes to paint five of these guys. I think with repetition, since I think there are 120 of these guys in my eventual army, uh, with repetition you can get that down to 30 minutes, which means you're painting 10 in an hour. Even if you only paint an hour a day, a couple weeks, you got your skeletons done. I think that's the key for skeletons, is uh, get a paint scheme that you can do quick that looks pretty good. It'll look better in a horde anyway, and just go from there. So yeah, thank you everybody for watching. Day 10, only 355 to go. I will see you guys tomorrow for day 11.